Hi everyone, I'm Lark and I'm with the Madison Library District uh, and we're going to be doing our Hedgehog Earbud Holder Teen Craft for some reading uh, today and uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, it works great to hold your earbuds so that they don't get all tangled up in your pocket or it also works really well for phone cords. So anyway, let's get started. Okay, so to make this Hedgehog Craft, so here's a better picture of what it looks like um, for the hedgehog earbud holder. Um, we have provided you with a, a rectangle piece of felt. This one is about uh, four by five inches, um, maybe a little extra than that. Um, we've given you a piece of cardstock with uh, a thread, some thread and a needle and a button. You will need to uh, grab a sharpie for yourself and a pair of scissors. So, to get started on this, I'm actually, so I'm just going to fold over my felt and then I'm going to take my Sharpie and I'm going to kind of draw um, what a hedgehog might look like. So, um, I find it easier to actually start, well, I'll just start here. So, I'm going to come down for the nose and then kind of go drastically up and round it making some spiky hedgehog looking fur. Okay and so as you like you can draw on the face and stuff after you cut it out but I just kind of want to give you a visual of what it might look like when it's done. So I'm drawing a line here to separate the head from the rest of its body and then I'm going to draw a little eye there and there's the nose and I'm going to actually bring this down like so. And so um, with that outline um, and while I'm here I'm just going to imagine my button and so I'm going to also put kind of a X marks the spot there for where I'm going to be sewing on the button later as well as um, creating a hole to put it, the button through. So now that I kind of have in mind what it looks like, I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm just going to try to follow along my template. And you can choose to not draw a template if you want or and just cut kind of a shape that resembles a hedgehog or if you feel more comfortable you can draw a template and then just follow that. So there's my little hedgehog. Um, so I think it's kind of fun. And then to create the buttonhole, because um, I want the button on the back piece of the fabric, so the buttonhole is going to be on the front fabric. So I'm going to take where I've drawn the X and then I'm going to fold my hedgehog fabric kind of like this and I'm going to just create a little snip. These aren't great scissors so I have to go further down the base of them than um, what you guys might have to. But you just need to make a buttonhole that will fit the button through it. And then um, I'm going to line this up with its previous fold and I'm going to um, kind of pull the buttonhole aside and take the sharpie again and I'm just going to go right in the center where my X marks the spot from previous and I'm going to put that um, directly in the middle of this so you can kind of see that's where I'm wanting to sew my button. So then comes the threading part. Um, you'll just have to take your thread off of here and we've given you enough thread um, to sew a button and that's about it. So um, I find it easier to thread the needle if I lick the end of the thread because then it helps it go through a lot easier and once it's through I just pull and I go all the way um, pull it directly through until the string is half the length that it was before and then I lick my fingers again because the threads all kind of um, 
separate from itself and I after licking my fingers I run down the length of this thread making it straight to even everything out and then when I get to the end I wrap it around my pointer finger a little bit so I just have um, it round my finger uh, about two or three times and then I kind of just rub back and forth between my pointer and my thumb until you see a knot starting to form and then you just kind of pull and there's a knot. Alright, so then I like to pre-put the thread in one of the holes and then I like to place it on the where I've made my mark and kind of just drag that through. Now my knot actually wants to continue going through um, this large, the large little holes on the button itself and so I'm just going to kind of hold it in place as I come to the back and poke the needle through another one of the holes and pull it through and go through my original one that I had gone through and now it is anchored in place and even though the knot has gone completely through it um, it's going to still be in place and I'm just going to take my thread and go back and forth between the different um, holes of the button until I feel like my button is really secure or I run out of thread so I'm just going to go back and forth I'm just going to see how it's lining just because Okay, so that looks pretty good. I um, have a lot of extra thread, so I'm going to go through uh, just two more times and then I'll knot it off. So there's one. And here's the second one. So um, now I'm going to, now that it's on the back side, I'm going to uh, run my needle through the threads along the back that I've already put in place until it creates a loop. Let's put that there so you can see that. So there's a loop here with my thread and so I just run my needle back through that loop which creates a knot, and I'm going to do that uh, two or three times because I like my knots to be secure. And again, until I see the loop form at the end, and then I just run my needle through and pull it, and one more time. Get my loop one more time, run it through, voila, and then I'm just going to cut off the extra string or thread along with the needle. And now it is a finished little hedgehog earbud holder. So my earbuds will no longer get tangled up in my pockets or backpack or wherever I am throwing them. So there we have it. All right, so that was our hedgehog earbud holder craft. Uh, it turned out really cute. So I hope you guys had fun making it and I will see you next time.